here in Past Young Square and on the Ave to really talk to you about an impact champion that I am so proud to present to you. art lover, mother, uh, pastry chef, uh, you know, you, you name it. And I'm really excited to have her introduce like why she's here in this community and what she really does with her craft of cooking. Thank you. Really wonderful compliments. Um, so my name's Angela Rinali Chicala and I'm the pastry chef for both Brigantessa and also Labor 2 restaurants, which are both on East Pashunk Avenue. And what we do here is, you know, we're really trying to keep the Italian traditions alive from the immigrants who originally built a lot of this area of South Philadelphia. And uh, my husband and I, my husband is the savory chef, he's the savory end, and I'm the sweet end of it. <laughs> and <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, we, we really dedicate um, our, our dishes to the, the traditional and authentic um, cuisine of Southern Italy. So, so our food here is more bold, it's very fiery, you know, it just like the name, and we, um, Brigantessa has a wood-fired oven, so a lot of our food is wood-centric. Um, we have the Neapolitan-style pizzas. We have a lot of ingredients that are, you know, we only cook seasonally, but you'll see some things that are Arabic sometimes influenced, um, because Sicily being, you know, so influenced by the Arabs over the years. Um, we also have, I would say, here is more spicier things, a lot of wines and craft beers, all from the south. Etna wines, there are volcanic wines, so we have a lot of interesting, interesting things there that you might not find in uh, like Italian American restaurants. This is a little more, yeah. you know, a little more specifically strong rooted Southern Italian, but a little less Italian American. Yeah, so I, I know that you um, are so gracious to participate in our event that's coming up, and the reason why we're doing it is really to communicate the message that art is still really important and that it is related to the craft of cooking. Um, how do you think that your life would be, if you can imagine it all without having creativity because you're always full of ideas, <laughs> um, just like me, but uh, it's like, could you imagine not having that kind of like outlet for yourself? No. So if I had, if I was never able to express anything creative, do nothing, no, no art, nothing creative, I would be a total maniac. There's no way I could deal with that because I feel like when you have when you have a, a spark of creativity, a moment where you think, oh, I really want to do that, or you have this idea, you're inspired by something, you have to do it right, like you have to act on that because that is something from somewhere in the universe that just comes into you and that you have to do it or else it's going to go away and it's going to flip like into someone else is what I believe. That it's energy that is going through everybody. And I think that if you can't, if you can't find what is really in you like that and, and act on it, that you just, a lot of people I think get, they hold that stuff inside. Like a lot of people you find where they have maybe a nine to five corporate job and they can't be crazy and do all these things. And you know, they might go home and they want to paint or sketch, but then they feel like, well, I'm not really, this isn't really what I do, right? But no, if you just have to like be really free, I think. But that's not everybody's personality. But with the kids, the fact that the schools cut this, I think is horrible. And with the children, especially coming from low income neighborhoods, so now you have these kids and you don't know, you don't know what their lives are like. You have no idea. They're living in all different kinds of situations. And for them to go into school and be able to take out, you know, a couple cans of paint and go crazy or, you know, glue together, just build, just be like, do anything, create anything is such a release for them and emotionally and also like the colors and stuff this is this brightens people up it makes them happier it like does lift your soul you can't just 24 hours a day be just like work 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 you have just this is okay this is life you have this life and there's all this stuff around i really admire your work i admire things oh, that you do thank you. in the community um, and we're very appreciative of your participation in this event i'm really now, excited to i can't wait to get cooking for it i'm really excited for this yes and now so we have this year we have an artist that you're to be inspired by so who is your artist you chose i chose Frida Kahlo. I know you might think I was going to pick an Italian <laughs> artist, but no. Um, I love Mexico. I love the Mexican people. I love their culture. And if I could come back in another life, I would be Mexican. I would. I love their food. I love their art. And I really, I really, her, her life is just crazy. And, you know, she's like a survivor and she's a little dark, but really just, just, she's a strong, strong woman. And I really, I love her artwork. 
so I chose her. So it'll be a little bit of a Mexican, uh, Italian, tiny bit Italian dish. Mostly it's Mexican.